Welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Feroz, and in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the latest blockchain coming from KuCoin. But before we do, if this is the first time you're here and you want to learn more about crypto, whether it's news insights or analysis, to help you get that edge, start now by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. Better still, why don't you come and join us over in the Telegram community? Plenty of crypto enthusiasts, from novices to pro traders. So certainly no question is too big and definitely no question is too small to help you on that crypto journey. In fact, if there's anything that you don't quite get in this episode today, come on over and drop us a question. Either myself or somebody else in the group will get back to you. Now, let's talk about KuCoin. Now, if you haven't noticed, over the past week, KuCoin has actually had a pretty decent uptrend in terms of price action. In fact, back in April, obviously, when Bitcoin peaked uh, within the 60s, Obviously, every other altcoin had also peaked as well at that time. And then since then, we've been in pretty much a downtrend because obviously when Bitcoin goes down, it brings the market down with it. Now, over the past week, though, however, KuCoin has pretty much had somewhere in the region of around, I would say, what is it? 100 and we're looking at. Yeah, there you go. About 185 percent increase in price action. And the reason behind that is, and I'm going to say is pretty much down to the release of the KuCoin community chain, which is basically the blockchain from KuCoin. Uh, very similar, I would say, in terms of how you have Binance Smart Chain, as well as Polygon Matic. The idea behind it is that, you know, Ethereum, slow, not scalable, transactions are costly. Those who are really wanting to get into DeFi, specifically, which much smaller investment portfolio, a lot of the time they find themselves pretty much paying a lot in transaction fees and not necessarily getting much back in profit. So the idea is that we have a chain that's much faster, much cheaper to operate overall, which then pretty much puts more investment back in your pockets. It's based on uh, Ethereum Go. So really the main benefit behind that is that any project that's already built on Ethereum can easily lift and shift their code onto the KuCoin blockchain. It's ERC-20 smart chain contracts compatible. So it makes it much more palatable for able to, and really less development is needed in order to just migrate over onto another blockchain, which is cheaper, faster, and let's face it, when it's cheaper and faster, there is going to be obviously another further round of investment coming in from our everyday retail and obviously potentially institutions. Now, in terms of actually what we're going to go through in this episode today, it's going to be two things. Firstly, we're going to look at how you set up MetaMask so you can actually start interacting with all the various dApps that are currently coming out on the KuCoin blockchain. And secondly, how you actually get KCS into your MetaMask, but specifically on the KuCoin community chain network. Now, the other thing to sort of also bear in mind here is, and what we're certainly going to see is like we had with Binance Smart Chain, like we're seeing with Polygon Matic, a lot of projects are going to want to start building on here and it will provide pretty much what I would say an early opportunity for those discovering this network to be able to try and capitalize on some of the upswings that we're going to see in terms of a lot of the projects that are coming in. We're going to start seeing similar projects like we have the DeFi, Yield, uh, we're going to obviously get our meme coins on there. So if you can get in early on some of these projects, certainly on a brand new blockchain, which clearly is geared towards that type of the market, then I think you will be in for a pretty decent ROI on your investments. So let's start with how we actually configure the KuCoin community chain network on MetaMask. So pretty straightforward what you need to do. First of all, go ahead and download if you haven't already done so. MetaMask. And once you've done that, all you really need to do is go ahead and click on the drop down at the top, collect or select, should I say, custom RPC. And now we're going to go through a few values. I will add in the description below the official links to the KuCoin community documentation. So you have an official reference point for all these values that I'm putting in just to make sure or do your own research to make sure that you are putting in the correct values and not just copying somebody random on the internet. So first up, you need the network name. Pretty straightforward. KCC mainnet. Next up, you need to add in the RPC URL. So you just copy that over, quite straightforward. And that goes there. Chain ID is 321. So you go ahead and copy that. And the currency symbol is KCS naturally. So one thing to bear in mind, as I was saying before, is that the gas that will power all the transactions on the 
KuCoin community chain is going to be KuCoin. So you have to purchase KuCoin tokens in order to be able to interact with all the dApps. And as more and more people start purchasing and wanting to interact with the dApps, they're going to need KuCoin. So they're going to go onto KuCoin, go ahead and buy more shares. And naturally, that will have a positive impact in terms of price appreciation as well. And then lastly, you've got Block Explorer. So the Block Explorer here is very similar to Etherscan. Idea being is that obviously you put the transaction ID in to the actual site. And then from there, you will be able to exactly track where that transaction has gone, the state of that transaction. Or even if you wanted to have a look at somebody else's transaction, you can do that as well. Go ahead and click save. That is it. You are now set up. Go ahead and start interacting with all the various dApps and projects that are on here. Now, I've listed a few projects uh, that seem to be spoken about quite commonly in all the various Telegram communities that seem to be safe. But obviously, you need to do your own research and have your own risk reward management built in place before you look to start investing in any of these types of projects or also using their dApps. The first up we have is KuSwap. So pretty straightforward. Idea here is as you obviously swap in and out of various token pairs, the actual transaction fees here or the trading fees are returned in KUS tokens. So there is a token there that you can start looking at, which is KUS. Next up, we also have is Coffee Swap. So very similar in terms of uh, functionality as the previous site is for obviously swapping. Next one we have is Candy Swap. So Candy Swap is a good one to look out for. Obviously, once again, you've got trade, uh, farming, yield farming, all of those like we already have on Matic, like you already have on Binance Smart Chain. All right. So you're going to start seeing similar scenarios here. Obviously, you're going to start seeing similar massive APRs here, 12,492% returns. But obviously, just remember, once you get in, these things tend to get used up pretty fast and the APRs tend to drive down pretty quickly as well. You've got Kudoj. So, you know, what blockchain is not a blockchain without having their own version of Doge on there. So here you've got Kudoj, um, you know, definitely worth checking out. This could be one that could increase in price purely just benefiting and, you know, running off the other doggy meme coins that we have out there. You've got Ku Rise as well. So hyper deflationary token. Idea behind deflationary token is that it's deflationary in nature, and, you know, ups the scarcity and the price should increase over time. And then lastly, we've also got here is Kudos. So that's another one that you might also want to check out. Now, these happen to be the ones that are pretty much talked about, I would say, positively when it comes to the KuChain community. You'll find these also pinned within the KuChain community, Telegram community as well. So certainly worth checking out. Now, let's also talk about how you actually get KCS onto the KuCoin community chain wallet. So pretty straightforward in terms of what you need to do. You head on over and log into KuCoin, right? So if you don't have an extra, if you don't have an account set up, you can set up here and basically purchase your KuCoin from here. So go ahead and buy it as spot or put a limit order in if you want to get it at a lower price, if you think the price is going to go down. Now, in terms of how you get those tokens transferred in, very straightforward. All you need to do is head on over to assets, click on main account where it says deposit and withdraw. So you click on that. And then you get presented with your wallets in terms of uh, how much of whatever token you've already purchased within there. But here you need to make sure that you have KCS tokens, right? And then all you then need to do is click withdraw. So you click on withdraw. That will then present you with the withdraw tab. And very important, right? What you need to do is click KCC here. And that means that you're withdrawing to the KuCoin community chain itself, right? You put the wallet address in here, and that's fairly straightforward in terms of the wallet address, because all you really need to do is, let me just cancel out some of these old ones here. You just take the wallet address from here, and you might be thinking, well, what is my wallet address? It's the same wallet address that you used initially when you created your Ethereum wallet in the first place. It's exactly the same wallet address, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Just go ahead, copy that, drop that in here, paste, Choose exactly how many you want to send over. In fact, there's actually no fee by the looks of it when it comes to transferring KuCoin tokens over onto a KuCoin based wallet as well. So that's pretty handy to know. It's not going to cost you anything here at all. And then that's it. You go ahead and you click confirm. Once you do that, that will then send over the tokens into your KuCoin wallet. And that's pretty much it. That's exactly how you start participating in it. So the next step really here is, you know, come back, join the Telegram channel below. Um, 
feel free to come and ask some questions. I'm always looking at what the next best farms are going to be on KuCoin, what some of the projects might be that you might want to ape into. Obviously, you need to do your own research, but come on over to the Telegram channel, discuss it there. And uh, any questions, just feel free to ask. And before I forget, obviously, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the subscription button below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And I will see you on the next one.